वेलकम टू माय चैनल आर एल डी एकेडमी दिस इज ट्यूटोरियल नंबर सिक्स ऑन ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर नाउ लुक एट द सर्किट हियर इन दिस सर्किट यू हैव टू सोर्सेस वी वन एंड वी टू एंड दिस इज योर ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर वन and this resistance r1 r2 this is again r1 r2 and this output voltage is v0 and here you will see the resistance r3 and there is one op amp here connected in this way and this end is grounded look at this figure carefully from this negative inverting terminal this resistance are two this is grounded so there is no feedback here so feedback is given in this part where this end is positive terminal non inverting terminal right now here we want to prove that this v0 is given by this r2 times rg upon r1 times r3 and this is the gain multiplied by v2 minus v1 there is a voltage difference so you see this output is a difference amplifier now where gain is give is simply r2 times rg upon r1 times r3 so here we can vary the rg we can get different gain of difference amplifier and you can notice that simple difference amplifier if you want to vary the gain then you have to tune both the resistance either r1 r1 or r2 r2 here so two resistance you have to vary simultaneously that is one difficulty okay so here you have only one resistance rg that only we can vary so smoothly we can get different gain level okay so this is the advantage of this circuit but we have to employ two op amps right now so therefore uh, this could be called as variable gain differential amplifier so this is the improved version for differential amplifier circuit in this video we will also discuss one circuit uh, with only single of amp but we will try to get differential gain with variable gain right now to i have said that to solve the fm problems we will be using these four concepts one is virtually connected uh, with negative feedback the inverting terminal and non inverting terminal the potential will become same so as if they are virtually connected second one is current entering through fm is zero that is because of high input impedance of the ideal op amp so ri is infinite and the third one is inverting amplifier so with this negative feedback if input voltage vi is connected through r1 to the inverting terminal then gain is becoming negative and it's given by minus rf by r1 so if i find this kind of circuit we will directly write the gain that is your minus times feedback resistance upon input side resistance r1 next one is non inverting amplifier here input vi is connected to non inverting terminal and there is a feedback in inverting terminal and gain is becoming positive and it is 1 plus rf upon r1 now look at the circuit so i told you that this circuit here this v1 this is r1 r1 but here it is grounded so there is no feedback in this side this negative terminal but positive terminal there is a feedback path here and we'll show that this feedback path here due to this one you will get again negative feedback right so that that we'll discuss this one right now this v plus end 
this this will con consider as v plus and next one will consider this end is v minus okay so this terminal is v plus so i'll consider this terminal i will consider v minus now there is no current entering to the circuit here or here there is no current right now if you start from this side this one v1 r1 r1 connected there is no branching current here so you we can find out this v minus potential so that is simply voltage divider voltage across r2 is r2 upon r1 plus r2 times v1 now consider this part so this part here this output is connected to this of amp it is now inverting terminal through rg and there is a feedback r3 here so this circuit is basically a inverting amplifier where output is connected to input side and v3 is the corresponding output so again we know that minus rf upon r1 in this case this is the feedback resistance minus r3 upon rg should be the gain so we can find out v3 v3 will be minus r3 upon rg times v0 so you see this is the inverting amplifier so v3 is given by minus r3 upon rg times v0 so this is the potential here and this potential is v2 and there is no current here again so this resistance is r1 this is r2 we can find out v plus the single current okay now you see we will consider this figure this this end is v2 that we consider v2 this is v2 this is r1 this is r2 there is no branching here but this potential is plus, suppose v plus and this is your v3 so now we can use supervision principle so when v1 is acting v2 is acting v3 is grounded then uh, v plus is potential across r2 that is your r2 upon r1 plus r2 times v2 similarly for v3 potential across r1 is r1 upon r1 plus r2 times v3 okay otherwise you can also use kcl at the node this point so then also you will get the same result so this node if you apply kcl v plus minus v2 upon r1 plus v plus minus v3 upon r2 equals to zero and solve for v plus right so v plus we have got v minus we have got so now we can compare because this circuit is having negative feedback because this v0 and v3 there are 180 phase shift whatever v0 is there it is inverted here so what negative coming here and that is added here thus it will provide the negative feedback though it is connected to positive terminal because the output is now having a phase reversal then added right now so we can use v plus equal to v minus because of this negative feedback now we can compare these two so this is your v plus left side and v3 we have replaced here by minus r3 upon rg times v0 now from this one you will see that r1 plus r2 in denominator in every term that we can remove first and then we can find out this v0 so we can simplify it so if you simplify you will see that this term is coming minus sorry this one r1 times r3 upon rg times v0 will be equals to this two combination r2 times v2 minus r2 times v1 so r2 we can take common so r2 times v2 minus v1 so we can find out v0 that will be r2 times rg upon r1 times r3 times v2 minus v1 so you see this output voltage is proportional to the difference of this input voltage v2 minus v1 and rg is in numerator so linearly we can vary the rg and we will get differential gain okay so this circuit is could be used to have different kind of differential gain so if you enjoy this video you can subscribe my channel and for subscription you can press the subscription button and then you should press the bell button as well 
then only you will get immediate notification of my future videos thanks for watching i hope you are going to subscribe my channel and i'll be uploading lots of videos in this channel so keep watching thank you